LaShawn, we have company today. Yeah, what does that mean? I just, you know, we got we to gotta let you know. Mm -hmm. well, let you know, because you're a woman of a certain age, and things be coming out your mouth. Well, mm -hmm. well. well. <laughs> and Jessica knows, because she's heard past podcasts, and she's like, yeah. LaShawn is crazy. Well, I'm prepared. Well. She didn't use the word crazy. She didn't use the word crazy. We and can't. I say that she didn't, because she doesn't no. believe in it. No C word. A licensed social worker, a therapist, and a mental health consultant. Um, we have a special guest in the studio, Jessica Gurley in the mm -hmm. building Jessica! or on the show today. I always say in the building. I know, we're uh, so used to being in the we building. We haven't been in a building for what, six months maybe? Since this wow. pandemic yeah. started. Yeah. Right. yeah, thank you for being here. Absolutely. For those of you thank who you are having. just tuning in, I'm your radio chick, Kiki Brown. And I am the chatter chick, LaShawn Tipton. And I'm your millennial, Jerry Tipton. Yes, the millennial. Yeah, we missed you last week, Miss Millennial. I know. Last I know. week was kind of crazy. I was it trying was. to podcast and drive, and then when I got home, and the link wasn't working, so they missed out on me. It was and funny because she was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hello. And I'm like, it's not working. We'll he had see. a whole conversation. Blame it on Zoom. Blame yeah, it on Zoom. Zoom it, was, or it, was just, definitely uh, it was a Zoom fail. Let's yeah, pray that the Zoom yeah, gods yeah. will look out for us today. <laughs> Today, right. I hope so. Right. <laughs> All right, we're going to dive right in. Jessica, you already know uh, we have four segments, um, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about some current events and chime in whenever you, whenever you feel fit. Okay. Um, I do a prep sheet, but sometimes they read them, sometimes they don't. Okay. And I like that, only because their responses are authentic, especially, I mean, LaShawn, really. Jerry kind of reads it. <laughs> So the Sean. Okay. She's so Jerry doesn't busy. listen. Okay. She's All booked right. and busy. I'm gonna have to work on that with Jerry. We love LaShawn. Oh, I love you so much. Sis, I miss you. I miss LaShawn. She's just booked and busy you. all the time. I miss you. She's too. very booked and busy. You gotta get like her. Here we go. I first things first. Too. Who you calling a bitch? What? <laughs> Ooh, uh -oh. So uh -oh. if you remember the old Queen Latifah song. I love that song. Wide, her first first line was, who you calling a B, right? Yep. So um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Cortez. who's US I love representative, her. love her. She's been making noise since she's been sworn in. Yes. Right. Um, according to Essence.com, she's had to defend herself um, mm -hmm. uh, up, up against one of her colleagues, uh, mm -hmm. Ted Yoho, um, mm -hmm. who has since apologized. He called her an effing B. Um, they had some exchange of words. Um, I guess the subject is crime in New York. And uh, Cortez was saying it's up due to unemployment and the coronavirus pandemic. Yoho mm -hmm. was like, nah, you tripping. That's not it. You're out of your yeah. freaking mind. And then called her effing B. And it was mm, like, wow. it's like, no, it's like, no, I was just playing. I was just playing. Right, I right. mean that. We cool. Mm -hmm. We cool. And she was like, who are you calling her? And she started mm -hmm. doing all this, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. As wow. She wow. <laughs> But see, yeah. here's my question. Here's my question. She has, um, he's refused responsibility. She's since said, okay, that's an apology, whatever. But it's not really, it's a half ass apology, but whatever. Um, mm -hmm. How do we get upset when men call us out our names, but we mm -hmm. do it? And I think we may have talked about this before on past episodes, but just in recent news, we're very upset with this man who's called her out her name, but we mm -hmm. still do it. We call each other bees all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I told Jessica off mic, I I feel bad. I've called Beyonce a bee, but just out of excitement. Right. Because it's Beyonce, right. you know, like, what bee, bee, you better bring it. But I think when we do it to other women, not saying that it's good, mm -hmm. but I think when we do it, it's like playful type, right? you know, when men do it, I think it's more aggressive and you're being more rude with it. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, that bee over there, you or you stupid bee, or something like that. I think their approach is different mm -hmm. um, about it. There, it's it's how it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Mm -hmm. um, even though it was wrong, you know, it, either way it goes. But like sometimes me and my friends, we like, oh, be, oh, guess what, me? You know what I mean? Like that. Like the way we do it is fun mm -hmm. and it's playful. But when guys do it, I feel like it's more disrespectful. You know, mm -hmm. so I, 
you know, I think that's where it, it lies. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like the difference between when we say it to our girlfriends opposed to when guys say it to us. So that, that's what I think. Okay. Yeah. Sean, Jessica. I get it. I get it like that. Did you did you want to say something, Jessica? Go ahead. Shoot your guess. Go ahead. Go ahead, guess. No, I was going. I I one hundred percent agree. I think you know black people have been known to culturally take things that are usually negative and flip it to something positive, and use it to kind of throw it back in that person's set, face to say, "Look, you can't use this against me now." So I think some women have taken that word and saying and use it in a playful way to say, look, I'm not going to let this affect me. And I'm going to actually use it in a playful way. I don't use it. I don't like to use that word because I don't want there to be no confusion. So a guy mm-hmm. won't be like, Oh, I heard you say, I thought it was okay. So mm-hmm. I, I just don't use it. But I, I do think a lot of people, it's how you say it. And there's, there was a lot of aggression the way that, that he said it. There's mm-hmm. definitely some toughness behind it and some male privilege and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. wrote her ass hard. She was like, <laughs> I, I told, I agree. I agree with you both. And 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 when Jessica was saying, you know how we take a negative and turn it into a positive because the N word was something. I was going to say that I yeah. never like, mm-hmm. but sometimes it's appropriate. <laughs> sometimes yeah. somebody do something. You be like, yeah, yeah, no, come right. on, yeah. right, right, come right. on, like right. it's yeah. like uh, so appropriate. And, and not that I'm, I'm not a big cusser because the Lord's working mm-hmm. on me. He's yeah. working on yeah. me with my, with my mouth. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Oh, I felt that. But, okay. um, Jesus. What, ooh. <laughs> so, but yeah, but there's certain words, like even with the B is I'm not a, I'm not a B thing. I don't even throw, I don't even throw the word out there. Right. Um, and I, but let me, let me go back. Let me retract. I have thrown it out there and, and it's been funny. Like, yeah, you're crazy. Mm-hmm. You know, something like that. But I don't, I don't like it to be thrown at me. And it depends on who says it. Like if I, if I would a group, like my, I don't have those kind of friends that are on TV, like the Real Housewives of Atlanta, New Jersey, Orange County, all of that stuff. They throw it like crazy. I don't have those yeah. kind of girls that call me a bee and throw drinks at me and talk about me. We don't. I don't have that kind of friendship. So but they're getting I a check know for it. They're getting a check. Yeah, for you it. know what I mean? And it's, right. and it's theatrical. It's right. all set up. Because I love mm-hmm. when they open up the door and they be like, "Girl, I didn't know you were coming over." Yes, you did. There's a camera behind you <laughs> and in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Why are you being right. the best actress? But do you ever. think those? Do you think stuff like that shows like that kind of glorifies it and gives it, it a pass? Mm-hmm. You know, we have younger yeah. girls that it's kind of like a mean girl situation all over again, and that yeah. and that's not cool, especially if right. we want our young people to respect us. You know, right. put some respect on my name. Um, I think that she was good for standing her ground. Um, I think that. that other men need to understand, and women, that you can't throw that word around. But at the same time, we have to be just as responsible as we expect them to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If I say, right. like, one word that I do, I think ever since it was in high school, I do not like being called is goofy. I mm-hmm. hate that word. It is like the most offensive word. And you being the the social worker and a therapist, you may relate this to a self-esteem issue, something that I had buck teeth. And so when you see Goofy, you look oh. at Goofy, at the Disney character, oh as, you know, stupid. Mm-hmm. Um, he was just uh, uh, like, and yeah. when someone called me Goofy, yeah. I thought it was that that's how they that saw me happened. and so I took mm-hmm. offense to it when you call me a B it's I look at it as it, as the most offensive thing that you could say to me it's like spitting on me it's the worst mm-hmm. thing I have a name mm-hmm. yeah, my name ain't baby and my right. name ain't bitch like that's just yeah. that's not right. it don't call me ho don't call me hooker don't call me heifer oh yeah, yeah. period right. I know right. we didn't bleep right. a whole bunch of stuff but you know, don't don't do that. Yeah, and I have young nieces. We will. Mm-hmm. We have. I have nieces who look at me, and I have to carry that. Uh, I have to carry that mm-hmm. responsibility to let them know that they don't need to be called that as well, and they should not be called that. You know, what right? I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So, Absolutely. Is that sexism on both counts on both on both ends? Sexism. Or is it does not not relate to sexism? I think the microaggression behind how he said it was definitely sexism because I think there's a lot of men, especially white men, think who 
who think they have the authority to talk to women like that. I think that's the sexism part, part about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Any yeah. other? Any? Yeah. And it, it's just the, you know, it's just the way he put two horrible words together to mm-hmm. say the this to like, her. He really didn't like yeah. that. You really, you you know, he put that F-bomb in front of that B-bomb. Right. He oh. wanted to be known that he was Yes. <laughs> he was, <laughs> you know, was drop was kicking he her. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That was a drop kick. Yeah. So he meant what he said. And so I, I don't take apologies so quickly on something like that. Because yeah. um, when you when you go with the F word, when you especially when you're saying F word, you got to do it with force. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's a word that comes out with force. It doesn't, it does. it's not like, it's a, ah. Right. So when he yeah. did that, you know, he was going for her jugular. And that's yeah. just what he did when he mm-hmm. did that. And no, I mean, for her, for her to be like, okay, I accept your apologize. Apology is kind of saying to young girls, "Okay, well, right. you didn't mean mm-hmm. to say that. Yeah, right. Yes, you did. You used two words to call me mm-hmm. out my name. Mm-hmm. One, but mm-hmm. two. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna let you soak in that for a little bit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure she'll have the weight when it's time for her for another seat or when she needs something from this mm-hmm. person. You know, she mm-hmm. can kind of dangle that. She did take the Twitter saying Republicans." A Republican responds to calling a colleague disgusting and an effing B with, I cannot apologize for my passion and then blaming others. I will not teach my nieces and young people watching this, watching that this is an apology um, mm-hmm. and what they should learn to accept. Yoho is refusing to, uh, is refusing responsibility. So now the message is for young girls to see the strength that she has in mm-hmm. carrying that confidence and using that as a tool to say, your strength is in word. You can either give life or give death and be mm-hmm. the better person by saying, I see what you did. I'm mm-hmm. holding you accountable for what you did. And because right. of what you did, you're gonna look stupid and I'm gonna look smart. And right. people are gonna watch me and how I, hopefully I'm thinking that this is mm-hmm. you know, what our young people um, are right. seeing. So rather, you know, it's just, it's just uncalled for. And, and I, I just, I want us to, to be better as a people, as, as, a, as a gender women, um, to, right. to not use that way. Regardless on age, you know, we have a diverse group on this show. You have the Chatter Chick, who's a woman of a certain age. You have myself, and then you have our millennial. And so all of us see things differently, you know, and say, well, you know, that's because you're older. Or, you know, we have older ears. Oh, yeah. Like Jerry (laughs) said, give you for that. But anyway, you got some older ears. (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> y'all know y'all got older ears. But anyway, I was like, "What? Like my diamonds must have been hanging wrong. for a long time, making yeah. my ears older." <laughs> must be my diamonds. Ooh, Ooh. 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 Yes, she did. Yes, she did. <laughs> okay, so uh, again, we have guest Jessica Gurley, who is a licensed social worker, therapist, and mental health consultant, and we're going to talk more with Jessica about the recent news story um, as it pertains to a few celebrities that we might, you might know Kanye West. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you know him or not. You might know mm-hmm. Tamar Braxton and you probably know maybe uh, Nick Cannon. So we're gonna talk about that in our second mm-hmm. half. But coming up, we have fan mail. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Like, like, yeah. We get in your business. You about to lose your job. So. <laughs> is that a song? Yeah, it, yes. it is now. <laughs> you about oh, to you lose your lose job. job. <laughs> and so this this particular uh, email is written by someone who says that they've been they've um they feel that their friend betrayed their trust. So we're gonna get into mm. that. Uh, next, again, we have special guest Jessica Gurley, who's a licensed social worker, therapist, and mental health consultant. This is the Hey Girl Hey podcast on Urban Media Today. Hold on. Hey, girl. 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 Hey,